Nexus Instruments is a global leader in smart metering technology and has recently released a series of EFRAM based MCUs that enhance the operational efficiency of utility flow meter systems for gas, water, and heat metering. The MSP430 FR69 microcontrollers enable ultra low power consumption of about 100 microamps per megahertz in active mode and about 450 nanoamps in standby mode, all with the real time clock enabled. The family of FR69X MCUs come with the new extended scan interface or ESI and can drive up to 320 LCD segments. Combined with the LED ultra low power feature, the ESI makes this product the best fit for flow meter applications such as water, gas and heat meters with a rotor disc to detect the flow rate. These devices also come with a host of other integrated peripherals including analog modules like the 12-bit differential ADC with an integrated window comparator and a security modules like our 256-bit AES hardware accelerator. The main board of the EVM is built on the MSP430 FR6989 MCU with LCD display. A battery socket is on the back of the board to provide 3 volts. The rest of the board can be divided into 7 parts as follows. Part 1 is a socket for RF modules supporting sub 1 GHz or 2.4 GHz development kits. Part 2 is the through holes connecting to the IOs. Part 3 is the JTAG debugger and a USB HID interface. The HID interface can connect the board to a PC with a dedicated GUI. Part 4 is a reset button. To restart the firmware, push the reset button. Part 5, this device contains 5 push button switches that the designer can use to implement a key control. Part 6 is the LED indicator. Part 7, the socket for the sensor board to connect to the ESI of the MCU. The second board is the sensor board designed to accommodate various sensors such as LC, GMR, or optical sensors. The right portion of this board has been populated with LC sensors. There is a provision for populating GMR or optical sensors on the left side. The third board in the setup is the motor board. The motor board is designed to drive the rotor disc to simulate water or gas flow. There is a battery socket on the back of the board. On this board, part one, two pins for connecting to the external power, part two, power switch to power on and off the motor board, part three, the two wire spy by wire mode of JTAG. This can be used for programming and debugging the firmware. Part four, variable resistor to vary the rotation speed. Part five, these buttons are used to select the rotation direction and act as the stop button. Part six, this is an infrared sensor which provides feedback on the rotation speed of the rotor disc. Part 7, a rotor disc that is half covered by copper. Part 8, a connection header for I2C and UART. Now, let's take a quick look at this demonstration. To make setup easy, we have a new Flow ESI GUI for simple configuration of the code based on the sensor being connected to the extended scan interface. Please refer to a separate video on how to use Flow ESI GUI at the URL shown here. The motor board has been set up to emulate the flow. The disc on the motor board is half metal and half non-metal. The LC sensor on the sensor board can detect both the direction and the speed of the disc. Two LC sensors are used for the detection of both clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation. As you can see here, this wattmeter is capturing the flow rate and displaying it on the LCD segment display. For more details on this tool, please visit the TI design at the URL shown here. This reference design will soon be available for purchase on TI eStore. 
In summary, the MSP430 FR69X series of MCUs are a great fit for flow meters in the smart grid market for water, gas, and heat because they include the ESI interface that enables rotary smart meters, they support up to 320 segment LCD display, and because they are the newest devices in the TI's ultra low power family of MSP430 FRAM devices with memories scalable up to 256 kilobytes. For more details on our system solutions for global smart energy grid, be sure to check out the links below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>